Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed what is a class, what is an object, how can you define a class and how can you create an object for the class and also I have discussed how can you access a member which is of a class using an object. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video or if you don't know those concepts, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss about init method in Python. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. What is the purpose of init method is? Init method is useful for you to initialize the variables of an object, which is nothing but like a constructor. I think you would have studied the C++ or Java. If you have studied, then you would have know what is a constructor. Constructor is useful for you to initialize the object state. So in Python, we have the init method which will be useful for you to initialize the variables of an object. Now let me discuss how can you use an init method and how can you access the init method using the object and how can you initialize the variables of an object all these things I will discuss for you. So to do that one first let me create a class using the keyword called class and let me write the class name as student okay then inside the class I am defining an init method so let me write def underscore underscore init underscore underscore then you will write self. What is the purpose of self? I will discuss later for you. Okay. This is similar to the this reference in Java. Then here I am writing print hi, how are you? Okay. Now this is the method I am using inside a class. Now I am creating an object called S1 of a student class. Similarly, I am creating one more object called S2 of a student class. Then look at here as the init is a constructor. Once you create an object by default, the init method will be called. You no need to explicitly call the init method using an object. If you run this program, you will get the output as hi, how are you? And another line you will get hi how are you why you are getting the hi how are you two times because you have created two objects once you create an object of a student class then automatically the invoke method will be invoked is it clear i hope it is clear for you so now let me discuss how can you initialize the variables of a object using the init method suppose let's take that i am writing self Okay, then I am writing self dot a is equal to 5, self dot b is equal to 6 I have written. Then I have created two objects, s1 is equal to student, another object I have created s2 student. Okay, then you will have in S1 object, A value will be 5 and B value also will be 6. Similarly, for S2 object also, you have the variable A as initialized to 5 and B also initialized to 6. If you want to verify it, you can write here print S1 dot A, is it clear? Comma S1 dot B. Then you will get the output as 5 comma 6. I hope it is clear for you. See this is the way you can initialize or you can pass the values whenever you are creating an object that I will discuss now with you. Look at here. I am writing self. Let's take that. I will not write anything. Now I am creating two very objects of student S1 student then I am passing two things. Suppose let's take that I am passing 10 comma 20. Similarly, I am creating one more object called student called S2 where S2 is an object and of a class student, I am passing 40 comma 50. 
Now you have a comma b. Is it clear? So this is one you are calling. Now what you will write here is self dot a is equal to a self dot b is equal to b. Now what will happen is that look at here now you will get a doubt sir whenever you are creating an object of an s1 you are passing two values but this init method is having three arguments or three parameters which is self a comma b then there is a mismatch with the number of arguments you are passing and number of arguments here means actual arguments and formal arguments the number of actual arguments and number of formal arguments are different no they are same only the self is which object you are passing see as you are initializing or you are creating an s1 object so this self is nothing but s1 similarly s2 this one the self whenever it is for s2 i hope it is clear for you the self is nothing but which object when you are using this statement the self will be s1 when you are using this object s self will be s2 and the corresponding values a value 10 b value 20 a value 40 and b value 50. Now in this case if you display the s1 uh, object values s1 dot a comma s1 dot b then you will get the output as 10 comma 20. Similarly if you print the s2 dot a comma s2 dot b then you will get the output as 40 comma 50. So this is the way you can initialize the variables of an object. If you don't want to display these things using the print s1.a, s1.b, you can create a method. Suppose let me write here def display, then you can have self, okay. Then here you can write print s1.a comma oh sorry it should be not s1 it should be self because which object you are passing that will be self dot a comma self dot b okay is it clear now if you just call this display function with the help of the object then it will give you the output so now let me write s1 dot display similarly s2 dot display then you will get the output. See, with this example, let me discuss what is the use of this self. Now, whenever you are passing the variables 10 and 20, then it is with the S1 object. So, S1.A is equal to A, S1.B is equal to B, whatever the values you are taking. So, the self is this as a point, this reference in Java. So, similarly, S2, whenever you are doing it initializing then here itself is nothing but s2 so that's why s2 dot a is equal to a s2 dot b is equal to b similarly whenever you are calling the display method using s1 object here the self is s1 so that's why whenever you are calling the display method using the object called s1 then you will get the output as 10 comma 20 similarly whenever you are calling the display method using the s2 object then the self will be s2 then you will get the output as 40 comma 50 so this is the way you can use the init method i hope it is clear for you if it is not clear don't worry i will discuss this concept in the jupyter notebook for better understanding now let me define a class called student and inside this one, I am defining an init method, underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore. Then I am writing self, okay. Then I am writing a statement called print, like, share and subscribe, okay. Now what I am doing, I am creating an object called S1 of student class. Similarly, I am creating one more object called S2 of a student class. Now, let me run the code. What will be the output you will get is that here you will get the output as like, share and subscribe. Similarly, you will get the another output as like, share, subscribe. 
so this is the output you will get look at here you got like share and subscribe sorry for it i forgot to write the comma okay so this is the output you will get so i hope you have understood how to define an init method which is like a constructor and once you create an object by default the init method will be invoked so that's why you are getting the output as like share and subscribe now let me change the code little bit to explain the other concepts suppose let's take that i am writing self dot a is equal to some five self dot b is equal to six so i am creating two instance variables or object variables and i am creating two objects called s1 and s2 of student class now if i write print s1 dot a comma s1 dot b similarly if i write print s2 dot a comma s2 dot b then here you will get the output as 5 6 similarly here also you will get the output as 5 6 okay look at here you got the output as 5 6 5 6 because you are initializing the instance variables a and b has 5 and 6 that reflects to both the objects okay so that's why both the objects are getting the output as 5 and 6 now let me change the code little bit to discuss further things okay now instead of self i'm taking two more arguments a and b are the parameters i'm writing self dot a is equal to a self dot b is equal to b okay then i am defining one more method called display which is a instance method what is an instance method i will discuss later for you now i am writing print self dot a comma self dot b okay now i am creating an object called s1 by passing the values are 10 comma 20. similarly i am creating one more object called s2 of student class by passing the values are 10 and 20. now if i write s1 dot display this will give you the output as this will give you the output as 10 20. similarly if i call display function or display method with the help of object s2 then you will get the output as 20 and 30. look at here let me run the code for you and see the output you are getting 10 and 20 20 and 30. so i hope it is clear for you what is an init method how to use it and how to call it with the help of the objects i hope it is clear for you still if you have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day